Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Devin. I teach over in Strasbourg at the Boundless Yoga Studio, uh, a Beginner's Plus class, in case you don't know me. Um, and I just wanted to drop by uh, to encourage you all who are taking on the 30-day challenge and offer up a little uh, something for those of you who might find yourself uh, struggling with um, sickness or illness or for some other reason, have a hard time finding an asana practice either in class or at home. Um, and I just wanted to give you uh, a little meditation to uh, allow uh, yourself to connect uh, and get centered. Um, so our yoga is not only physical movement, but also uh, meditation and yoga means union. And really that's mostly connection. So you could use this meditation um uh, prior to a vigorous asana practice or a mild asana practice, or you could just use it all by yourself uh, for when you're having a hard time. So we'll begin um, just by I'll ask you to take a comfortable seat. And uh, you can even do this lying down if you're uh, hurting or if that feels better for you. Um, what you want to do is choose a, a seat that allows you to let go of some of that kind of unconscious uh, clenching and gripping that you have in the body. We want to just take a little bit of time to make some space um, for breath and softness. And um, so you can even pause if you want uh, while you're trying to find a comfortable seat and um you know, when you're ready, allow your eyes to just uh, softly close. I don't scrunch them up really tight. Just let them close softly, bringing some softness into the face and beginning to bring all of your attention inward. Allow yourself to notice the breath. And as you notice the breath, maybe just uh, observing whether the breath is fast or slow or smooth and even, or maybe ragged and interrupted in some way. Whether the breath is deep or shallow. And very often, just by looking at the breath, allowing ourselves this opportunity to look inward, we begin to automatically begin to create more space for the breath. You can begin by sending some softness into all of the muscles of respiration, into the face and the throat, the neck, the chest, the rib cage, the belly, and the back. And just watching that breath move in and out of the body. If it feels like the breath is pretty shallow, you can extend your next exhalation a bit more. So see if you can just press a bit more air out of the breath. Very often our breath is shallow because we don't empty the lungs completely. So it's hard to take a full deep breath in. So empty the lungs. And then as you take the next breath in, see if at the very top of your inhalation, you could just sip a little bit more air in. So without stressing or fussing, just see if you can deepen the breath a bit, emptying the lungs completely and filling them all the way up without straining. Let's see if you could move that breath pretty evenly all the way in and all the way out of the lungs. Maybe engaging the back of the throat, the glottis at the back of the throat, just to press that air more evenly through.
And think of it more like allowing rather than trying to force the breath in any way. Just think about allowing more time and more space for the breath. And allowing that breath to empty slowly, but then fully and completely all the way out of the lungs. And then allowing yourself to sip that breath in gently and evenly until your lungs are completely full. And as you continue with this fuller, eat more even breath, smoother breath, start to send some spaciousness into the rest of the body. So think about maybe sending some softness and breath into the neck and the head, and the face, the shoulders, the arms and the hands. If you notice any tension, just letting yourself surrender that tension with each exhalation. You might even breathe right into that tension on your inhale. Hold the breath for a moment. And then as you exhale, feel the tension melt away. And then begin to extend that same sense of spaciousness into the lower part of the body. Pelvis and the hips the legs into the feet. Each breath cycle, feeling that breath reaching more and more of the body. Feeling yourself emptying on the exhale. All of the stale energy in the body in the mind. So take a few full body breaths here. Feeling the spaciousness that you've created in such a short time. And now that we've released many of the blocks to the breath and we can feel that breath moving more freely throughout the body, Take a moment to connect with that vibration or life force energy, which in yoga we call prana. Many of you feel it, maybe notice a little tingling sensation, like a little subtle vibration in the body. And for some of us, it's easier to access mentally, maybe just imagining that vibration or even imagining maybe that sensation that we get when we sit in the sun, that warm vibration, like sunlight spreading throughout the body, energizing and rebalancing every cell, muscle, tissue, and bone in the body. And as we connect with this prana, Encouraging that even flow throughout the entire body-mind. You might begin to notice the body dropping back into that perfect alignment. So the body instinctively knows the mind-body is built to heal and grow and evolve. And as we release the blocks to that perfect wisdom, we can begin to feel the body and the mind start to just drop into its own perfection. The nervous system balancing out all of the tight and tense parts beginning to soften and ease all of the fatigued and exhausted parts finding a gentle energy and feeling the body's healing systems kicking in to help cleanse and restore that perfect health.
Taking just several breaths here, connecting. And you can stay here just as long as you like. And when you're feeling centered, just take one last moment to formulate any personal intentions that you may have for the rest of your day, your week. And then unite those intentions with your own breath cycle. And then gently begin to flutter the eyes open and allow yourself to come back into the room and back into your body. Take a full deep breath and then begin the next part of your journey. Uh, I wish you well and all of the best. And um, I hope you uh, find this little video useful and I wish you well on your 30-day journey. Hopefully you can make a commitment to make yoga a greater part of your life or better yet, an everyday part of your life, no matter how you're feeling. Okay, see you.